So welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to Cooking Today. I'm glad you're with me. I have the best treat for y'all today. You're gonna love this so much. This is my friend Molly Mullis. Hi, Molly. Hi. I'm so glad you're Thank here. Thank you for having me. Oh I my... appreciate it. Y'all, Molly, okay, tell me what you are, because I was gonna say, I am the sous chef the sous and partner at Oven and Tap. At Oven and Tap. Have you been to Oven and Tap yet? It's in Bentonville off the square. It is one of my all-time favorite places. I Thank can you. say this, and I'm not just saying this. I have been there, I don't know, six or seven times, and I have never had something there that I didn't absolutely love. That's sweet. Thank and you. And I try to be the one there because I know the food is so good. I try not to get the same thing. I yeah. want. I want to go through the menu and does the, menu, the menu changes. Yeah, the menu changes pretty frequently. Yeah, so give me a little premise on so your we, restaurant. So um, we're centered around a big wood oven. It's in the middle of the restaurant. It's kind of the showcase, the star. It's a beautiful yeah, open I mean, kitchen. It's it's stunning, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, the, every time I see it, I really do get chills. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, so we try, the menu is kind of dictated by the oven. And we- um, It's fancy. Yeah, well, it's really not fancy. All right. We try our hardest to source as much local produce and right. ingredients that we can get our hands right. on. Right, We really firmly believe in supporting our community that's gonna support us, yes. you know? So we, in the process, we think that these ingredients are quality ingredients and that it doesn't need to be fussy. Well, and it's I not fancy. love when you go in there that like the, the wait staff, um, they'll tell you all about it. Like they're so well educated and schooled and knowledgeable and passionate. Yeah. They really are. And you can really see and they'll yeah. say, oh, this bacon, it's so good. And this is where we get it. And we make this bread and we do this and yeah. look at, and so. We, I mean, we think, you know, knowledge is power. It's important to right. know the product and support the product right. that you're, you know, serving your guests. Yes. So we think that's an important part of the service at Evan and Tap. So tell them what we're making. Okay, so let me tell you, let me tell you before Molly tells you what we're making today. So one of the, one of the recipes we've made on here before that y'all, I've seen you at the grocery store, you stop me and say, oh, I'm making this tonight. Like people are really liking it, was my, really easy, quick weeknight meatball bake. And I know a lot of you have made it because I've heard from you. But that's the quick way, all kind of store-bought ingredients with a few little things to kind of make it, you know, taste good. Molly is making for us today. We're gonna make oven and tap sugo, which is our red sauce. And then we're gonna make meatballs that we serve at oven and tap as like well. homemade meatballs. And there's been a lot of stuff going on. You know, sometimes, you wanna get going on, yeah, tell sure. them what we're gonna yeah. do and then I'll tell so them. So we've got a, a pan hot over here. Um, we're gonna add a little bit of oil to the bottom. Uh -huh. And we are just going to start sauteing some buzzed up carrots, celery, fennel. Uh -huh. um, and by buzzed and up, onion. she means that we put it in a um, food processor. <laughs> We really did. This is super yeah. easy. No, no hassle. Carrots, fennel, celery. Was that all that we did in that? Um, this carrots. right here is just carrots, celery, fennel, and onion. Okay. Oh and yeah. Then here's onion. our carrots. Uh huh. And so you're just sautéing that a little bit, just to yeah. kind of what? Get some. We of the just want to cook. We want. We just want to cook it through. Cook it down a little bit. You don't want raw vegetables right. in your sauce. We want it to all be cooked through. Okay. Um, Isn't that so good? Fresh, 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 so. and really good. Okay, so you're gonna saute that down a little bit. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna add a little salt okay. for taste here. You say a little, and that is like a lot of salt Yeah, to that's me. kind of a large pinch. But I I always kind of feel like in cooking people under season. Yes, they and do. And I think the reason it tastes really good when you're out is because of pinches like that. Yes, that's Don't very true. That kind of what makes uh, restaurants stand apart from a home cook. Yes. Someone once told me that salt seasoning is really what differentiates the yes. two. Um, and so we're not afraid of salt, but we also understand at the restaurant that, you know, we can we can add more, but we can't take away. So it's important to understand yes. your quantities and what you're putting in there. Yes. And, you know, taste as you go. Has she watched this show before? I mean, don't I say all of those things? So we're gonna let this cook down a little bit. And mm -hmm. while we're doing that, Tell, Amy, yeah, tell what else we have kind of going on. Amy is cracking some eggs mm -hmm. for the meatballs. Mm -hmm. So we're going to mix the meatballs. I've already ground ground the meat at Evan and Tap. Um, Talk about, you want to tell us about that yeah, a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So we source um, Berkshire pigs from the Bansleys. They're an outstanding family. Are they Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, Elkins, Farmington? They're actually Farmington? a little bit outside of Northwest Arkansas. Mm -hmm. They are from Harrison, or outside oh, yeah. of Harrison, yeah. rather. Um, 
And they raise some of the best mm. animals. Um, they, we, we, we only source um, ethically raised animals. Okay. It's really important to us okay. in our message at Evan and Tap. Mm -hmm. So they, on a scale of 250, they are rated at a 248. So that means oh, these I animals love live a wonderful life. Um, and I, I feel proud to serve yes. this pork. And I just love a restaurant that has a purpose. Yes. You're not just making food. Like yeah. I love that you have a purpose and you you have a you take a real you have conviction and a stand on certain things. Yeah. And then this the flavor that comes out of yeah. all those good ingredients. Right. Yeah. I mean the ingredients speak for themselves. Ugh. So it's a Berkshire pork mm -hmm. um, or it's a Berkshire pig rather and that is kind of like an heirloom vegetable and that it's an old breed. They have a they have a, um, a really nice meat to fat ratio. Mm -hmm. And so we use a combination of the shoulder and the belly to get that nice ratio. It's beautiful. I mean, she's brought it. Now listen, we're gonna make a bunch, but we're gonna do it in the next segment. And it already is smelling so good in here. We did a whole bunch of fresh herbs in these eggs. We're gonna keep mixing up our filling. We're gonna saute down these vegetables a little bit more. And when we come back, we're gonna keep going. I cannot wait for you to see the process and eat these, so good. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. Y'all, it's a treat. I've got Molly Mullis from Oven and Tap. Hi guys. In the kitchen today. Y'all, she knows what she's doing. It is so <laughs> fun to be in here with a real chef. It is really, really fun. I am learning so many things. Yeah. So Molly, you want to tell what you've done over there and I'll yeah. tell what I'm doing over here? So we've cooked down the mirepoix, uh, the carrots, onions, celery, fennel, mm -hmm. and we're going to add a splash of white wine, really whatever you have on hand, something that's dry, something that you would drink. Don't go buy wine for this. And nothing something, too sweet. Yeah, nothing we wouldn't too want like sweet. a Moscato or anything And like the that. reason, yes, and the reason why we're adding this is it's going to bring up some acidity and brightness to the sauce and it's going to add a little depth of flavor. Gosh, it smells good in here. And then what I'm doing is I had the 10 eggs and we did about two cups of freshly chopped herbs. And I mean, we really, Molly actually did this, um, really spent some time going over it. I mean, it was finely, yeah. finely, finely chopped. And then Molly's got, Molly kindly offered to be the one to dig her hands in here and mix it. <laughs> this so, is your job. Right, well, yeah, exactly. So this is 10 eggs. Uh -huh. Uh, two to two and a half cups of herbs and then a cup of panko and then this is seven pounds of pork a uh, combination of shoulder and belly like we talked about Do you need this at all or just go no or just going yeah I'm just gonna go for okay. it okay and while I go for that Amy would you mind throwing in those three cans yes. of ground tomatoes yes so I just have three 28 ounce cans of just good organic store-bought yep um, crushed tomatoes and we're going to add these in to our mirror plot over here. So while I'm mixing, I'm being mindful to not over mix. So I'm just kind of gently folding the meat onto itself mm -hmm. to incorporate all of the eggs and the panko and the goodness. Um, mm -hmm. And as I do that, Amy, after mm -hmm. toss those in, would you mind throwing in some dried oregano and some yeah. salt? Mm -hmm. And this is important. We've said this before. Season as you go. Yeah. And like Molly already got her tasting spoon in there and went ahead and tasted that mirepoix. I mean, it's not even the finished sauce, but you just want to be sure that what, what you're doing at each step right. is what you want. Instead yeah. of you want your flavoring and you your seasoning build the flavor. in the food and not just on top. Yeah, exactly. So about how much oregano? Um, so you'll throw the oregano in over here and we'll probably just do... Um, oh, I'm throwing the oregano in here? Yeah. Oh, good. Couple I was about to put it in the sauce. <laughs> Couple of tablespoons, and I'll need some salt over here okay. as well. Okay, so this is all I'm doing over here then is yeah, tomatoes. We're just adding the tomatoes. And then let's talk about our oil. Why don't you give them a little... So we've got some oil uh -huh. ready to go over here. Um, this is peanut oil. In the restaurant, we use rice bran. You just want something that's... Are you saying um, rice bran? Rice bran oil, I yes. I rice bran. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, for a long time, I thought it was rice bran as well. So it's an easy, easy thing to confuse. So if you were a home cook and you were going to try to yeah, make this, I mean, would I would you probably do... just use peanut oil, which would be totally fine. Just okay. something that's neutral, that's not going to impart a lot of flavor. You know, you want the meatballs to shine. You don't really want to taste 
the oil. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like I'm you. I would probably throw all that in. There you go. I shimmied. There you shimmied. Did, it did was you shimmy beautiful. when you really so, you're putting all that in? Yeah, okay. All that. So So I'm gonna say what was that? Several tablespoons, four or five. Yeah, probably. Or a four. jar. Um we've six, got almost like almost like a half ounce jar. Yeah. Okay. We've got um some oil back here heating up. Okay. It's gonna be at 350 just on medium. You don't really want to scorch it. You don't want to turn it up too mm -hmm. high. So it's been on medium for, let's say, what, 10 minutes? Probably, maybe a little yeah. more. Maybe a little longer. Just so, And we've got a candy thermometer mm -hmm. back here so that we can we can just, um, read the temperature. Mm -hmm. And we're right at 350, a little bit above, which is totally fine because the second you drop a meatball in there, it's going to go down. Reduces the temperature. Yeah. Okay, and here I, I go again. And I do all that salt. All of it? Yeah, all of that salt. Now we're doing a now, ton of meat. Yeah, this is a lot of meat. There you go. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay, now let's talk about a lot of meat. We I, we have we have had this conversation in the breaks. Right. And I like when I made a pie crust with Beth, and I said, and we made a mess, and we did a lot of work. I said we make four at a time instead of making one. Let's make four as long as we're doing it. And this is kind of Molly's theory as well on sauce yeah. i mean that sauce is delicious and it's it's a headache to make it for one or two people you might as well make yeah. 700 meatballs yeah you <laughs> really i mean because they're so versatile they'll they will freeze well you could throw mm -hmm. them in a crock pot and leave them mm -hmm. um for the day or for a football game or whatever i mean th this oh i love the idea for a football game yeah. meatballs has is so many so applications good. it really does applications you and your fancy words, I love it. Okay, so what we're gonna have is our scoops. And we're gonna start making the meatballs and then laying them out on this sheet pan while our, our oil is nice and hot. Yep. How do you feel? Does it feel like it's coming it together? It feels good. I'm gonna drop like a small little taster before we go to break and make sure that it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. And then we will start rolling meatballs when we yeah. come back, check our sauce. Okay, we're gonna start on that. Come back and see us. This is cooking today. Ice Tea, sponsored by Lipton. What I love most about the farmer's market is the music, the art, the food, the people themselves. Uh, that's local, that's Fayetteville. Local means homegrown. My kids can run around, they can choose what she wants to get and eat. I like growing and selling directly to the public. And the market is kind of what community ought to be. Visit us Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on the square. The Fayetteville Farmer's Market. 100% local and love. Hi, welcome back. We are making the most delicious comfort meal. Wouldn't you call this yeah, comfort? Yeah, for sure. I think all Italian food is yeah, comfort. Yeah, I agree. That's why Just I love simple. your restaurant. <laughs> I'm a comfort food girl. That's what I love. Okay, so we're making meatballs and... Sugo. Which, which is... Which is our red sauce. It really just translates to sauce in Italian. Sugo. So we yeah. have to say sugo when, sugo when you make this. At the restaurant, we call it sugo. I love so, that. yeah, we got to speak the lingo. And I tasted the sugo. It's really good. Y'all are going to love the cons consistency of it with all of yeah. those vegetables, like mm -hmm. nice and like right. cooked down and yeah. pureed down and delicious. Okay, so what we did, we had to spend a little time on it. We have made, we went ahead and scooped our meatballs. We just use like a regular ice cream scoop. You saw that. You don't want to mash them like crazy. You want nope. to kind of be gentle with them. Yeah, just form them into little balls mm -hmm. like we have here. And then Molly has already fried them. You want to talk about that a yeah. little bit? So we got our, our oil up to 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. Something to be mindful of is that you really want to watch the temperature of the oil. The longer, um, the, once the meatballs go in, they're going to drop. Right. And it's going to be a little bit harder to get the oil to skyrocket back up. So it's almost better to start off higher, okay. 375, 400. Okay. So you drop your meatballs in, they're good to go. Okay. It's probably going to drop to the perfect temperature. Okay. So I'll go ahead and drop some in. We've got, we probably what have. What are you looking for? We're looking for this beautiful caramelized color. Here, here let's show the them. Yeah. Here, let me transfer these. Yeah, here, here, trade me. Mm -hmm. I'll take these. And they're not cooked all the way through necessarily, no, right? No, and we're not trying to cook them all the way through in the fryer. We just want to get this caramelization on the meat. I so mean, it adds I texture. I just wish we texture. could just go like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we can't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. But, but yeah, because they're not going to be all the way cooked through. Um, then we're going to transfer them to our sugo back mm -hmm. here. Okay. And they're going to braise for probably an hour. And braising is? It's cooking something in liquid. So it's going to really break this down and make mm -hmm. it tender. And that's mm -hmm. what we want. We want really tender. We braise pork on here a lot. Yep. Yeah, so um, your viewers know a little bit about it. A little it. bit about it. Mm -hmm. Sure, and we're going to do it on top on the oven. 
a lot of times you see yes, people braising yes, inside, you know. Okay. Yeah, inside. So we're going to do it on top with the range. Okay. Um, and they're going to just start braising. So I'm going to drop some of these in. And we're working on getting our temperature back up, yeah, right? Yeah, our temperature is headed back up. I think, oh, we're there. If you want to drop a, well, how about we switch? You switch. I'm nervous. Y'all, I don't, you know, I, if you've watched this show for whatever, nine or ten months, I don't fry things. I don't deep fry. I don't yeah, do Yeah, I mean, it, I know how. You need to be careful, for but sure. But Molly also said that she has no feeling in any of her hands because she's done this so much that you're like not aware just, of it. It's just, it's just kind of a part of it. She's you know? just not scared, and I'm just a little nervous, so I'm going to let the Hey, that's the understandable. Oil. Okay, so then these. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead. Should um, I use my tongs? Yeah, you're welcome to. We've got some tongs right over there. Mm -hmm. um, we finished our sauce up with some fresh whole basil leaves. Yes. Um, the zest of one lemon mm -hmm. and the juice of one lemon. Mm -hmm. um, so we let that kind of stew down, cook down. Um, and now we're adding our meatballs into the sauce. Mm -hmm. Once oh, you get them in. So pretty. I know I'm going to stir them in in a minute. Yeah, but I sure yeah. think they're so pretty. Right there on they the top. Are. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So I this, know. I mean, I know this seems like a long process, but we're pretty much at the end. Okay, let's talk about this really quickly. Okay. A couple of questions and be honest. Yeah. At this point, if you were to, at what point could you, if you were a home cook, freeze at what step, if you were to freeze? Okay, so if it were me and I was a home cook, I would probably do this process that we're doing right here. The whole thing? The whole thing. And then, I mean, look at how much we've made. Oh. We've made seven pounds. Of meatballs. I wish we had counted so we could have said. Yeah, I mean, it's probably it's probably going to be close to 50 meatballs. 50 but you know what? You think about 50 meatballs. I don't know about your house, but at my house, 50 meatballs. I mean, if we had my family of five and another family of five over, yeah, that's five meatballs each. And don't yeah. you say y'all serve four? Yeah, each? we Three yeah we do each? we usually do, we do it by weight at the restaurant. Um, but yeah, we. Um, we serve a pretty large portion. Oh, yes. So and they're good. so delicious that you find yourself even maybe maybe you've had too much, but it's like you can't stop. It's the story of my life yeah. there. I we eat every bite of everything. I mean Sam and I go and we get an appetizer and we get two or I'm embarrassed to say this, but sometimes we'll get like three entrees and then we just kind of share it all because we want all the bites but everything is so good my favorite diner because <laughs> that's the way i want to eat food like uh -huh. that's kind of the intention of the restaurant is that you order a lot you share it everybody oh, gets, i mean all saying you start oh, I this love beautiful this. conversation taste that bite yes. what's that that i taste in there i mean that's that's how i do that's how i eat yeah. at a restaurant oh so do i just need to push these down yeah again? so i would stir them around so if you were going to make all of these these are going to go in this liquid, and you're going to, do you say cover, no cover? Uh, maybe partially covered. Get a little, let a little Yeah, you little want the steam, steam to be able to come out, absolutely. And then you would cover these and let them braise for about an hour. Yeah, and then they're going to be, I mean, and do you uh, again. See the, do you want to see that the sauce is simmering? Yeah. Like there's a little activity? or little activity. You don't want too much activity because you don't want to scorch the bottom of your pan. So you're going to keep it on a don't really want. low yes. temperature. Yes. Um, the sauce is going to do its work. I mean, look at how beautiful these are. I mean, y'all. It and that smells. didn't take, once the temperature was up, that didn't take any time Okay, good. Good, good, good. And this is just one more reason that everybody in here needs to um, own a really good big Dutch oven. I mean, you, you, there are certain things that you're just, you just really need. A good old heavy, good old heavy pot. And y'all see me use them like crazy. Um, and it's why we sell them, you know, really sell them at Unimase because they're such hardworking pieces. Yeah, such a versatile piece. Yeah. You, I okay. mean, look at what we're doing here. We're braising in that one and frying in this Beautiful. one. Beautiful. Okay. We are going to finish frying these in our batches, dropping them in our sauce, let them cook down so nice and braised. We're going to cut up a little bread when we come back and put it all together. This is Cooking Today. Candy, sponsored by Mars. Welcome back to Cooking Today. We are just wrapping up the most amazing day. It smells so good in here. I it cannot does. wait to eat this. With my friend Molly Mullis from Oven and Tap in Bentonville. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, Molly, this was fun. It I was just fun. said, I don't even feel like we were really even doing a cooking show. I feel like we were both just two girls in yeah, the kitchen. It was, it was. Really it was fun. very fun and organic. Okay, organic. I love that. Aren't we so organic? She is, I'm not. But <laughs> Okay, so do you want to kind of tell them how we finished the process? Yeah, so we finished um, 
frying all the meatballs mm -hmm. and we put them into our sugo like mm -hmm. we do at the restaurant. Um, we let them braise for about an hour. So we just let them sit and cook down in this liquid oh. on very low temperature. Um, so that's going to help tenderize the meat and it's going to just, they're just going to be so scrumptious when you dig in. We're serving them today with a little bit of crusty bread that we heated up in the oven, some parsley and grana. And grana, grana is, because you told me and I had to Google it. Gra grana is anything made, out, made outside of Parma. So Parmesan cheese comes from Parma, Italy. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like champagne, mm -hmm. you know, it's not technically champagne right. unless it's made from that region. Right. Similar theory. It's, it's a very similar cheese. This is a little bit grainier, but it's what we use in the restaurant. We, we love nibbled it. it. We it love it. It is outstanding. So, so you're I'm, just taking I'm a I'm going to shave some top, right here on top. <sighs> Look at it. Some big, beautiful shavings. And, and then you were even place. saying... You could serve this like this, like in a big bowl oh, yeah. with crusty bread. You could serve it for like if you wanted to do a dinner party and you wanted this to be a great, fun appetizer. You sure. could do it with like toothpicks or... I mean, it could be for... You could add spaghetti. It's so versatile. You could do it with anything. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to eat it. Thank you for being so here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I oh, really appreciate it. It was really fun. Y'all have to go try it out. It's a great place. This is Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by West Rock Coffee Company. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays. Groceries provided by Harps, Hometown Fresh. Online Elements, sponsored by Fayetteville Farmers Market.